Hey guys, it's M Beans, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today we are on an island tour. This island was done by Cozy.Dahlia on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel here, which is just Cozy Dahlia. So she posted her dream address recently, and I saw her island and was so excited to tour it myself. So thank you, Dahlia, for having us on your island today. This island's name is Capri Sun, and as you can tell, it's so coastal. It's a beach city with beautiful beaches and friendly residents. Tourists come from far and wide to experience the relaxing and laid back lifestyle of the locals. Take a walk along the scenic boardwalk, do a little souvenir shopping, and don't forget to try the island's famous fish and chips. Her beaches are decorated. She leaves you some outfits and props by resident services when you wake up. So we're gonna jump straight into this island tour. I'm so excited. I can already tell this is such a cute island just from my run from the airport to here. So let's get this tour started. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's pull up her map. So here is her in-game map. We have Dahlia here, Marshall, Freckles, June, Audie, Mint, Bones, Twiggy, O'Hare, and Daisy. As you can see, there's lots of pathing laid down on this island and her dream address is on the screen if you'd like to visit. She does only have nine villagers instead of 10, which satisfies my OCD so much because I hate it that the 10th villager is always by themselves down there, unless you have two residents, of course. But let's jump into this tour. Let's go check out her entrance. So here is the island entrance. So coastal already. And a little port sign so this is like a little port with a dock and the boats are here and a little bench area to sit and wait on your boat to arrive to pick you up this looks like a little shop here such a lovely entrance and then we have like a little island shop here as well i guess you can get a drink or maybe some souvenirs already so i always like to show you where resident services is relative to the entrance so we're going to follow these lovely pathways we have some nice wheat fields here and i'd love to be able to jump on this moped but we're going to head to the right and resident services is right over here following this lovely pathway. Such nice custom designs all around. Luna is killing the vibe though, like a bed in the middle of the plaza. Come on, I wish we could make it disappear. But let's backtrack a little bit and we found the main house already. Look at that view. Look how pretty all of the colors are. White and brown and a little bit of blue sprinkled in. So aesthetic. And let's check out, I, I believe she said just the main room of this house is decorated. Oh, but it is such a lovely main room. Look how cozy this is and fits the coastal vibes perfectly. I'm obsessed. I'm so bad with interiors, but she did amazing. I'm loving all of these vibes. Let's continue right. And I can see like maybe a little cafe up here to the right. Oh, so this is like sh the shopping area. So we have lots of little gift shops here. We have a record shop. We have a clothing shop or little boutiques. We have a little grocery 
Well, it's kind of like little snacks and juice and ice cream. Oh, and look at this lovely pathway that extends to the back of the island. But let's go back and head up here. So it's a nice little seating area to relax or if you bought a snack or a coffee or, you know, ice cream down here, you can come up there and have a seat with a nice view. And then the beach down here is very, very detailed. Look at all of the details. We have some nice little sitting spots here. And look at that view. I am in wide angle camera mode. So it's showing you a lot more than you would normally see without this mod on. Ooh, but we have a nice little beach pool. That's nice. With its own lifeguard. And here's her lovely little campsite. Simple and sweet and to the point. Lots of camping. Little tents behind as well. And I love that she put one on the rocks. Oh, and I love this coat on the ground right here. It's like little broken boardwalk steps. And then we have her cute little island. So many custom designs here. Look at that view with the villager house in the background. Let's see who lives here. Oh, it's O'Hare's Island, which is perfect for him. Totally on theme there. And then to the left of this nice boardwalk, we have just a little shop, it looks like. To the right of resident services, which is stunning. And we have a little parking lot. People can park their cars here and head to the beach. I really love how she aligned this pathway here with the bushes and then the little wooden spikes and then bushes repeat. I'm so about patterns and symmetry. And then we have her little um, river mouth here. And it looks like we have, watch out bones. This is so detailed. Looks like we have like a little, I'm not sure what to call this. I'm at a loss for words of what to call this, but you guys get the point. Like a little pier, some vending machines, some sitting areas. And this is some fishing spots right in front of the museum. That is cute. I love the pathways with the water and then the boardwalk on top of it. And the little fishing spots and the hermit crabs everywhere. So she has continued the beach onto the land here. And we have some boats. And the baby palm tree. And then even her rock back here is so detailed. Just lots of fishing areas here. And we have some boats in the background. I love the hermit crabs all around. And let's go check out what is up this incline. So this is a nice spot behind a villager home. We have some laundry drying racks. If you live on a coastal town like this, you don't need a dryer. Just hang up your clothes to dry in the ocean breeze. A nice like little patio or balcony overlooking the water. These people have their boat up here like it's under repair with the paint tins. Oh, and there's three little houses all together like a cute little coastal neighborhood. That is so cute with the little palm tree in front and the lighthouse in the back is an added nice touch there. And the little duckies, like I'm all about the details, guys. I'm obsessed with this island. So coastal, so beachy. And let's check out, ooh, an ice cream shop right in front. Every coastal town needs a good ice cream shop and a playground and a spot for the parents to sit. And then to the right, we have Able Sisters and some vending machines. 
looks like a community pool. This pool is gorgeous. What a luxury pool over here. We even have changing areas and either a kiddie pool or a hot tub and a water slide. And then to the left, look at this beautiful canal here that she has put boats down there and framed it out with the castle walls. I'm sure we'll get a chance to have a better look at that. But right here, it's like a little tunnel with a bridge over top of the canal so that cars can pass over. So creative. And then we have kind of a lookout point over here with her secret beach and some fishing, like some fresh fish from the boats. And let's continue along this road here. Seriously in love with these custom designs. And I'm in love with that canal right there. So cool. With the boats down there, it's perfect. But I guess let's go this way down this incline. Oh, and this took us right back to the main house. So I guess let's go back and check out the rest of the back of the island. And if we go this way, ooh, we found some docks. This is so fun, having the docks on land. She turned her land into the beach. And there's even a house here. These people have prime real estate, water. These are like houseboats. And look at all of the boats lined up like a marina. So cool. And let's follow it back here. Ooh, and look, we have some buildings. People are so creative when they are making buildings out of these simple panels and those ranch items that I can't think of the name of right now but it looks so cool lots of little seating areas so this is probably a restaurant and then we have another little restaurant with some fish and chips like she mentioned in the island description and you can even go down there and enjoy your fish and chips as well by the secret beach. Such a cool little secret beach with fresh fish everywhere. And now we're in a little secret spot behind these three houses that we saw earlier and they have prime access to this restaurant and to the secret beach. Very lovely. And then let's check out this other building over here. I love the little ducks and all of the details down here. Another little building. It says, I'm pretty sure that sign says lunch. It's one downfall of, um, yes, a lunch spot. So it's one downfall of the wide angle camera mode is that I can't see it. Sometimes it's so far away. And then we have a nice little vending area for the beach goers who maybe they forgot to bring enough snacks for the kids. Oh, and we have another little pier thing like on the other side of the island. How lovely is this? Let's just follow it to the front. Oh, and it's showing the sign over here showing beach access to the left. And let's follow this all the way to the front. And we found a volleyball court in the sand. Literally stunning, you guys. And check out this area here on the beach. This is so lovely. And then... Oh, so I believe we are, yep, directly to the left of the airport. Another river mouth there. This is so nice. And we have some changing rooms on the beach and showers to get yourself cleaned up so you don't get the sand all over your car. 
And we have Nook's Cranny here, which is a baby Nook's Cranny, which is so cute. And of course the baby palm tree as well. And then we have some tables along the beach to have some food. So many details along this beach, it's so accurate. I love how it's not overwhelming builds on the beach, but it's just items that you know would be on the beach normally so that she didn't just leave her beaches empty because a lot of us hate designing our beaches and by a lot of us, I mean me. <laughs> and um, let's see, I wanna kinda get back to where we were. Ah, I went back too far. Okay, so now we're gonna head up this incline right behind the beach volleyball spot. But I got myself stuck. And look at this nice little boardwalk with a view. Look at that view. I would love to just sit up here. I'm sure there's such a nice breeze. Oh, and you could have accessed this from the entrance, which is right over here for reference. Well, it's to the right, but there's the entrance. And then there's a villager home here on the beach, right next to um, the river mouth. Audie lives here. A nice little surf spot right outside of her house. And we have all the boats lined up in like a little marina. And how nice is this sitting area by the fountain? Look at all of the coastal vibes coming from over there. And that is the main house on the left. So now we're gonna check, I mean, sorry, on the right. Now we're gonna go left. And these little houses are on their own little islands. So cute. And I love the anchors on their doors. All of her villager homes are so on theme. This is stunning. I'd like to visit here for vacation. That would be so nice. I love that they're surrounded by water. And then this cute little road here. I feel like it's giving Mama Mia vibes. I'm just blown away by how beautiful this is. And then we have some little snack machines again. And another viewpoint from another little like boardwalk, which is right in front of those other houses that are off of the piers back there. And this is actually the continuation of the road. We went down here earlier into the beach. This is such a lovely island, you guys. I know that I need to finish my own island. I will work on it this weekend, but it is far from being done. So that is actually all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this island tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much to Cozy.Dahlia on Instagram and Cozy Dahlia on YouTube for letting me tour your amazing, cute little coastal island called Capri Sun. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this island was. She also did an island tour on her own channel. I think my favorite part of the island was all of the like luxury swimming pools all around. It just feels so coastal and her wheat fields at the front of the island that was just so fun to run through so let me know in the comments below your favorite part be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day and i will see you in the next one